This is Team ATO and we are researching the Greek Olympics. Hi, I'm Caroline and I am my Greek background researcher. This is the first step in the archaeological method where my team and I will gather as much information as we can about our topic before we even begin today. Questions we must ask ourselves are, what are we looking to find, where can we find it, and what will we need? The team beside me is gathering information about the ancient Greek Olympics. We have collected that uncovered artifacts will be hidden underground in Illus Valley Olympia. Let's Hi, go. I'm Olivia, my team's archaeologist. My job as an archaeologist is to excavate. In this step, the actual digging takes place. However, before we started digging, we had to get a permit to make sure we had permission to dig. We also had to check the site carefully to make sure it was safe to dig. We have a shovel to dig and a brush to brush the dirt off the artifacts we have found. As you can see in front of me, my team is hard at work looking at the artifacts we have dug up from the Greek Olympics. Ambie, what have you found? I found a uh, silver circular object, possibly a shield or a discus. Cameron, what have you found? I have found some sort of circular wheel type thing. Betsy, what have you found? I have found a long wooden stick with a sharp point on top. And possibly be a jab for you. I could have gone with this if it was a shield. Great. My team and I have found many artifacts that can help us get a better understanding of the Greek Olympics. Hello, this is Andy, and welcome to step three of the ar archaeological method, the analysis of finding. In this step, for every hour we spend at the dig site, we spend, on average, ten hours in the lab. Right. Cameron, what are you analyzing? I am analyzing a circular object, like a chariot wheel. Caroline, what are you analyzing? I'm also analyzing a circular object, but it has a handle, so it's possibly a shield. It could have been held by the chariot driver. He could have also been wearing a helmet which would lead us to think that we were digging around where the chariot races happened. Hi, my name is Professor Cameron. Today I'll be talking to you about publication. Publication is the fourth step in the archaeological method where you publicize your findings to the public. On my day, we believe we found a chariot wheel from 776 BC, which was used in chariot racing. This is an amazing find and may help us learn more about the Greek Olympics. My name is Betsy. On my team I'm the person who preserves the artifacts. Preservation is important for two reasons. First, we can go back and check our artifacts if we find some new information related to the artifacts that we preserved or to double check something. Then, in the future, there might be new technology that can discover something new about the artifacts. We found an olive tree reef that was given to ancient Olympians upon winning. Now, we should preserve the rest of the artifacts for the future, and this is my job on my team. This is Team ATO, and that was the five steps of the archaeological method.